This is with First Updates now. I'm here at the Houston Championship checking with team number 3310 Black Hawk Robotics. I'm here with Eric, Matt, and Carlos. These guys are on the turning division. We're going to learn a little bit more about their robot um, behind the bumpers. Now, you guys have an absolutely incredible machine. A lot of cool systems and components uh, on the spot. So I want to start out uh, with your uh, intake mechanism that you have. Who wants to talk about that? Uh, awesome. So our, our intake mechanism, do you want to, do you want to show some actu uh, act actuations? So uh, main thing, we, we built a ball intake, we built a hack intake that also doubled, and then we, 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 we smashed these two together and we scissored them. So our, we, we use our hatch mechanism and our ball mechanism together in order to eject hatches. And this allows us to uh, almost have a 30 degree, we can be 30 degrees off and still get our hatch placed on there good. So that's been huge for us this season. And uh, yeah, so they double together. Um, we, we have these little fingers that, that hold the hatch and then we bring them in and then we want to eject. We use our balls to push off our ball, our, our ball intake. So let's keep this rolling here. Uh, you guys have, you're telling me about this kind of this interesting spine mechanism that you have uh, in your robot here. So who wants to talk about the spine? Yeah. Okay, so our spine, uh, it's actually, it's very, it's a custom gearbox that we designed. It's actually down here on the inside of the robot. And we designed this so we can use three 775s to drive both the elevator and both of our legs independently. And so there's three, there's actual three shifters down there. And what we can do is the entire match, the back, the two legs will be locked with the ball shifters, and the elevator will be driven by the three 775s. And then towards the end of the match, when we need to climb, we'll actually lock the elevator, unlock the two legs, and we can drive both of those legs independently of each other. That way we can get uh, multiple different climbs, so we have like our regular climb and then also the suction climb. Well, let's kind of roll up with that, with the suction you guys have. You have a pretty awesome uh, machine with that uh, going on, so let's talk a little bit more about the uh, suction. Yeah, turn around, let's take a look and talk about uh, more of that. So who wants to catch that one? So uh, later on the season, we, we started to notice like 16, 19 and teams, a lot of teams had the suction climber, they started adding on. And so we thought, well, we have two go, -go legs that are independent, so both these can move up. So why not add something on our back with all this free space we have directly driven off of our spine in order to make sure that we can try and buddy climb. So we started off with a suction that was just in the middle, but as you can see now, we've shifted it all to the, to the right of our robot. So that way, we only take up around 15 inches of space so we can hopefully buddy climb. And we actually have in our practice match already buddy climbed successfully, and it's much easier than we have. So it's just a vacuum pump that we've modified and put a 775 onto. And then it, it, it has a check valve. It's kind of hard to see. We have a check valve here that locks the air. So once it goes in, it can't come out. Just into weather stripping tape as a gasket onto our, uh, our Lexan plate with just a small pneumatic tube, but the quarter inch OD. And then all we do is we lower it, if you want to actuate it. Oh, we can't actuate right now, actually. But so all we do is we climb normally backwards, and then we drop down our suction. It falls down. It gets a nice seal. And then we pull up our legs, and now we're climbed, lab, level three. Well, 3310, an absolutely incredible machine, a great robot, a great team in general as well, too. Guys, can't wait to see more of your robot on the field. Good luck to you at the Houston Championship. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.